what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so yesterday was the calfion ball and they gave us a lot of goodies so make sure to put your codes in get your free jay's hammer cron stones and all that stuff good stuff i failed another pen black star attempt not even surprised but anyway we are going on with episode two of our beginner guide of life skilling and today i wanted to show you a few things i'll probably have to do some edits but um for butchering and fluid collecting which sounds kind of gross when i say that but um mostly i want to show you some of the spots that i used uh one i want to say that you should keep all of this in mind what like as i said in my previous video for uh life skilling and especially gathering you kind of need to know what your goal is like if you do a lot of butchering generally you cook it and you're cooking with it so and if you're doing lumbering you're building something fluid collecting your alchemy so that's kind of the goal of this uh mini series of what we're gonna be doing so i'm gonna do a short rotation might as well just pop this one uh whatever so anyway what i wanted to do was basically show you what i do um for butchering now um i do have a few different spots but i want to show you one what that is kind of nearby and the reason why i'm saying it's for beginners is because you don't really need to be um well you don't have to have a lot of maids or anything especially if you're going hard on gathering it's right near town so you could always like stock it on your horse i guess that's for anything but like let's say you're a beginner and don't have all the other spots unlocked this is a good spot if we're butchering um it may not be the most money but so this is belly out right here we're down i guess on the imp cave node now i go to this place a lot mostly because um i personally cook a little bit and i've been making uh, just a lot of stuff but this is one of the beginner spots i would recommend just because every it's really close by to everything you don't have to commit like going down into some random gather spot in the middle of nowhere just so you could get what you need but i'll show those like in other spots like if you're looking for more advanced things so yeah this is why i would consider it a beginner and it's easy to dump energy real quick uh make sure to pop more buffs if you are doing this as well and so yeah this is where you get wolf meat and just to give you an idea of what drops here so unlike our first episode where we did lumbering wolf meat of course it drops meat right and if you have a fluid collector you could do these as well and that you get wolf blood it's meat or blood depending on which tool you use but what also is important here that you might want is the black gem fragments now with recently with the whole artifact lightstone thing uh if you are an alchemy guru i do believe you need those to make or like turn the imperfect light stones into something yourself instead of paying the 20 million in gold bars so ultimately i getting guru alchemy just to do that is it really saving much money not really it's you're like saving a little bit of time or maybe i don't even know like i'm not even guru alchemy i tried it i wish one day for alchemy you could do batch like the same way as cooking and oh, it's not batch but like you could triple double proc whatever and then that would just speed up power leveling alchemy it's not that the materials are hard to get and oh my god guru 45 wowie but yeah, it's not that it's hard to get the materials. It's more just like, it's so slow. So, yeah. So, you're probably watching this because you are interested in butchering. Um, I don't really know what to say. It's just, uh, this is a beginner spot. I'll probably show some more. I might do some edits in later on. But this is one of the spots I'm going for. And... This is another one that people used to use years ago. 
It's called Sheep Mountain. Honestly, I don't think that place is good. Why? Because, well, I guess ultimately it depends on your level and how much meat you'll be collecting. But like that one just has a lower proc and sheep meat, I believe is, or is it sheep? Yeah, the sheep blood and whatever. I think like bloods okay if you just look up bloods and then figure out uh like if you just look at all of these you can see the prices of things and like for example fox blood 15.1 that one's uh i know another spot but this one is literally a thousand less so like why would you go to sheep mountain for example um so yeah i could show you some other spots that they had there are actually a lot of them close by. So that's basically what you just saw right here was the rotation I do for a wolf meat. And pretty simple. You get a lot of uh, black gem fragments here, but you don't get as many capra stones. You get dust as always, but it's just not like ultimately the same. So yeah that's that rotation let's go do some go show you another spot that i use i think it's over here or within the area if i saw it i would know where it is but like i don't really come down here a lot but i used to back when mastery stuff first came out but I do think it's not a ter not the worst place you can go. There are always worse. Man. Okay, so. We are here. There are a lot of fox. And what you would do in this rotation is basically, I guess it doesn't really matter where you start. Let's just start over here, right? So that's fox meat that it's it's a difference between wolf and then fox now you're most likely it's 13.2 which is actually in terms of meat it's not great because uh there are a lot of other meats that sell for significantly more however the blood here it it is worth a little bit more so let's say you had a fluid collector right and this is a spot. I'll just do the rotation. Um, it may be a little bit different. My fluid collector is only at try compared to Tet for the other ones. But ultimately, same concept of you just go here. So I'll just do a, a little bit of a demonstration of my rotation. The bloods are actually kind of annoying to get because it's used for... Well, I guess not really used. It's um, You trade it to merchants or to trade person and then and then they'll give you a lot of goodies oh yeah so kind of like off topic i guess but they gave us uh some goodies in our mail or the calfeon ball thingy and if you see a lot of people hidden pen black stars that's, that's why because they gave us all free j hammer so right now we're collecting blood and what do you do with the blood? You use it for various alchemy things. So as you guys can see where we are on the map right now, the, even if you just like um, ancient stone chamber, like hit right click the node, it would put you right there. So this is also what I would consider like a beginner area just because it's like there are more profitable blood and meat spots, but I think it's still pretty competitive if you are just looking to level up various life skills and it's not contested like some other ones are. So, plus it's a nearby town, so you don't have to technically like carry everything if your weight level is low. You won't have to return to town so often. Sound that makes from the is actually it's kind of gross <laughs> 
So after you get all of these over here, um, it's basically just a giant circle loop. What you could do, I think there are more down here in case uh, you really need it, but I don't like, I don't think you'll need to go down here as much, especially because this is not like full wolf. This is a, uh, or not fox, this is wolves. And then, so once you do that, um, these could be respawned, I guess, depends on how fast you go. Otherwise, just go, like, back and down. There's always more within the area. I think if you go downwards that path a little bit, there's probably a few. So, yeah. Basically where we started. And ultimately, just... If you're looking to just do gathering just to sell the materials, it's not, like, the worst money. It's, like more than zero obviously but when it comes to gathering you're usually gathering to turn like the raw material that you get so in this case blood you turn it into a different kind of material that is more profitable so that's just life skilling in general you turn like item a into item b and then it sells for more um but not, I don't think there's a problem if you're just trying to stock up on it and straight up sell it to the market. You'll get a little bit less money, but it's not it's not the worst thing. Especially if you're a beginner, like, I don't know how much money you'll make on lower masteries and or higher, but generally, even at like mid to low levels, 100, 200 mil an hour seems pretty reasonable. Also, that includes, like, more buffs and how much energy you used, ultimately. But, yeah, that's basically this rotation. Uh, I could show you... Uh, if you're looking for, like, rocks and stuff, or, like, cooking utensils, uh, Pilgrim's Haven is still the way to go. Right here. It is out in the desert. It is kind of out of the way. But... This, that is the best spot for rocks. If you are looking for like scorpion meat to cook for Valencia meals and whatnot, the Shira Ruins is like Shira somewhere around here. Let me actually just pinpoint it on the map for um, it's my gathering spot for scorpion meat. Right there. See the Shira Ruins under the, right there. I figured that out because I wanted to do gathering after I got my uh, potion piece. So that was one of them. There are a lot more things for like various meats and gathering. So basically anywhere there's trees you can gather. Um, I know for lumbering, a lot of other people do like near ash forest. It's kind of like you kind of have to know what you're doing. But there's a lot of trees within the outskirts of it, and you could do a good rotation there um, and not get completely destroyed. Trent Forest and within this bear area is a good for a lot of meat because there's deer and then a lot of stuff that's also pretty important. However, keep in mind that bear is pretty contested in terms of uh, like life skilling people just because a lot happening there. So. Ultimately, um, figure out what you're doing. So, do you like cooking? Do you like alchemy? Do you like tree chopping and turning it into various things? Um, I would want to show you a new... Well, not, it's not new. It's a tanning spot that I did for various things. It's in Madaya. Um, it was near stone tail ranch and you just kind of go down but if you do tanning which most people don't do tanning a lot because it's very specialized and if you're doing tanning you really know what you want and you're, there's no shot that like 
you're a beginner looking into that if you're doing tanning. But anyway, I don't even think I have a tanning knife on me. I think I left it in my storage. But ultimately, that has been some of the spots that I use. Uh, maybe for the next one, we'll actually go do some rotations for all this stuff. But if there are any other life skills you're interested in watching, let me know. Um, we're going to try to do a lot of gathering ones. Uh, fishing is really just an AFK activity. I don't even think it's really that good. Um, it is just money overnight if you leave a computer on. Hunting is pretty good right now. Cooking, alchemy, good if you know what you're doing. Processing, AFK activity. Training, I, literally an AFK activity. Uh, trading has kind of been a dead life skill for a few years now. Like, it used to be good back in the day when people weren't making like a billion silver in three hours. Um, let's see what else? Farming. Farming is kind of uh, not so great. I do have farms. The reason why people do farming is mostly to get byproducts and use those byproducts here, turn it into stone tail horse feed, and you go for tier nine horse attempts. Aside from that, um sailing and bartering we do have a video of those already on the channel so if you're looking to get into margoria like bartering i try to explain my routes and um how to make bartering a little bit simpler so everyone can get into it um our sailing one is more for people who are looking in oh like getting a carrick or and having a carrick already and looking into doing margoria barters so yeah check those videos out i thought they were pretty cool so thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next guide soon